Deploying cloud computing infrastructure at a large number of sites, plus their users and their data sources, can be a real challenge. Resources are limited and remote. You need to figure out how to do remote upgrades, security patching, and how will the architecture be laid out with a minimal number of machines. To add to that, the accessibility of the geographical location can make edge deployments very complex. What's needed is reliable operations. The architecture must be developed once to be deployed anywhere easily. Low latency is also often critical for specific services. My answer to this challenge today is a combination of two technologies, microcades for the computing part and Ceph for the persistent storage. Microcades is an open source distribution of Kubernetes that completely follows the upstream releases. It can be deployed on a single node as well as clustered. That HA capability, combined with its minimal footprint, really makes it a candidate of choice for edge deployments. Then, to provide persistent storage to our Kubernetes deployment, CharmSeph will be deployed. It is a software-defined storage solution that provides object, block, and file storage. It is fault-tolerant and self-healing, as well as secure. The Charm provides scalable operations for easy day two support. All right. So now that we have described the different components of this architecture, let's dive into the demo. I will use three bare metal servers on which I will deploy Charm Ceph uh, with the help of Juju and Mouse, and then Microcades cluster with high availability will be deployed on top of that. And then I will deploy a microservices application. So I have my Juju controller that is bootstrapped for Mouse already. I have a model called Edge Cades that contains uh, my three Ubuntu machines and there is already microcades deployed on it, which I can show with a microcade status. And the status um, sh will show that the HA is enabled on it. Now I have my three microcades um, units deployed on Ubuntu. I will deploy Ceph with this manifest. So let's look at it. It has definition of my Ceph OSDs. Um, with which OSD device I want to use on each machine, and the Ceph monitors that will be deployed in LXD containers on the same machines. So I use the Juju deploy sub.yaml map machines existing to make sure that it goes on to the same three Ubuntu machines I have because I want to do an edge deployment on only three machines without using anything else. And with Juju status, I can now look at uh, the progress of my deployment. And as you can see, using the Charm version of Ceph makes it super easy to deploy because Juju is taking care of deploying, installing all the software, and it makes it super easy for day two operations. So I've deployed Charm Ceph on my bare metal machines, on my servers, but I did not provide a way for Kubernetes to be able to talk to Ceph. To be able to do that, I'm going to use Ceph CSI, which is a container storage interface driver and this will let me use RBD, CephFS um, inside of Kubernetes. And so to be able to deploy that, I'm going to use a few manifests that are in this folder here. So I'm going to copy these files locally and edit them to make sure that um, my cluster ID and other node information is correct. So to connect microcades to Ceph, I'm going to need to apply all these files that I uh, sent over First manifest that I will apply is a Ceph secret. Oh, and while I apply these manifests, I'm going to open a window on the side um, to see the uh, microcade status and see if pods are getting created. We're going to be able to watch that on my the right side of the screen. Now let's apply the other one. So I need to apply the storage class. I need the airbag rules for the CSI node plugin and the provisioner. and to deploy the provisioner and plugin themselves. Now that I have deployed all the components of the CSI plugin, I can apply, well, try to create a PVC, persistent volume flame, and see if it is bound to my Ceph cluster. As you can see, it is pending, and that is because all my containers for the CSI plugin are currently creating. Now that all the pods are running, we can check again the status of the PVC. So the status changed, the PVC is bound, and we have a value associated to it. 
So this uh, PVC shows that the implementation of charm Ceph with Kubernetes is now successful. Finally, to use that cluster and deploy an actual application on top of it, I'm going to use the microservices demo from the Google Cloud platform. Um, this deploys a simple uh, online boutique um, web page uh, that includes actually 10 um, microservices. So back in the console, I want to clone the project and create a namespace for that application that I'm going to call Boutique. Then that application actually need um, DNS to be enabled inside the cluster, and that's uh, done by deploying core DNS. And gladly for me, this is one of the add-ons that is included in Microcades. So I only have to do Microcades that enable DNS, and it's deploying that service for me. With the DNS deployed, I'm now ready to apply the manifest for the boutique application. On the right side, we can track um, the creation of all the pods. Finally, to access the front-end service from an external IP, I want to deploy the add-on MetaLB, which will let me assign an external IP to my services. I need to select the range of IP that is available in my network. Finally, if I look at the services, I can see that my front-end external service has now an external IP. If I go to that IP in my browser, I have the online boutique deployed and the site is functional. I can click on items, add to cart, check out, and all the services are functional and working really well. To conclude, when looking at solutions for the edge, you should definitely consider Macrocades as it is a production-grade Kubernetes that you can deploy on a very minimal number of nodes. Combined with Charm Ceph, which provides you persistent storage, you get a really simple, reliable, and optimized solution for your edge deployments. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Have a great day.